Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on here. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Uh, if you guys could please like and subscribe. Uh, if you want a personal reading, all that information will be in the description below. And thank you very much for your donations. I really appreciate it, you guys. Okay. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Okay. All right. What do we have for Scorp? What do we have for Scorpio? Okay. Gemini lovers at the foundation. Emperor at the sacral. So Gemini and Aries energy. Okay, what do we have here? Devil, Capricorn at the solar plexus. I'm getting a funny message here, but let me just pull another card. Hold on. Page of Cups at the heart. Okay, Scorpio, the message I'm getting here is I feel like you guys have somebody watching you. Um, somebody from your past who really did you guys dirty. Okay, I feel like they've ended up in a space that they don't like and they don't want to be there anymore and they want to come back to you. I feel like this is somebody who quite possibly left you for somebody else. Um, and I don't... I don't really like doing love readings. Uh, well, it's not that I don't like doing them. I just, I feel like every time it comes up, it feels like, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going here, okay? I'm just going to go with what's coming through. A lot of the times I'll start a love reading and then I'll just stop it and start start again, hoping that it doesn't come through. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this one go. Okay, yeah, this is somebody who juggled you guys. Two of Pentacles right there at the throat. And I've got like a lot of pressure in my throat. Okay, so I feel like this person doesn't even know how to approach you. They just, every plan that they're trying to come up with to approach you with is just... It's really pathetic, Page of Cups at the heart, right? It's just something that is just not going to cut it. Okay. What do we have here? It's been, I mean, look, it's a very basic sort of message here. It's somebody who juggled you, Scorpio, ended up leaving you for somebody else. They learned their lesson, okay? Ace of Wands at the third eye. I feel like they've really gotten used by whoever this was. I feel like it's this Emperor Aries energy, right? Quite possibly somebody who got them stuck in all sorts of karmic cycles, karmic patterns. I feel like this person has just been put through the freaking ringer by this person. Um, I don't even feel like this person is the same person you once knew. Uh, I feel like this person has... I say this lightly, Scorpio. But what innocence they did have when they were with you, I feel is completely gone, right? That's just so far in the past now. This person has been like really run through is the message I'm getting here. And it's like you had a complete... See, this person though, I feel okay. Maybe this is the bigger message here. There was something about this relationship, Scorpio, that... You really, really, really hit rock bottom after this relationship was over. Uh, there was something about what this person did to you that it's like you completely lost yourself. But when you hit rock bottom, something came through. And I really feel that it was hand of God that came through to lift you up, Scorpio, and really showed you a vision of what you could become. And what you've become, Scorpio, since being with this person... I feel like it's been a while too, um, is a complete, a complete shift, a complete, it's like a miracle. You guys are a walking miracle at this point. Like it's people's jaws have dropped to the ground. Like what, how, 
How did that happen, right? How did Scorpio turn themselves into this, right? It's like God came to you and just anointed you, anointed you with some superpower and put you through like spiritual boot camp for a few years, and now you're in like this star energy, right? Like you're just this example of you're a walking example of what somebody can become if they just put their faith in God, okay? So I feel like this is the bigger message here. It's not even about this person. It's about somebody who's really hit rock bottom or hit rock bottom and just completely surrendered to the divine. And it worked. It worked beautifully, Scorpio. Okay, what do we have for the crown position, please? And now it's like this person is looking back like, oh, oh, what have I done? This sort of energy, right? Six of wands of the crown, and there you are. Okay, so you're a, a complete success at this point, Scorpio, spiritually speaking, okay? Maybe financially speaking, however this is, but I'm, I am more talking about spiritual matters here, Scorpio. You are a complete success. You are abundant in all matters spiritual. You are a spiritual guru at this point. You just really understand energy and how to really up-level yourself, okay? You really have a good grasp on how this happens, okay? So you understand that you have to hit that rock bottom place before you can soar, right? Soar to these amazing heights. And this is that Scorpio energy. It's like, it's like you guys go under a rock and you come back out when people least expect it and you're like, ta-da, here I am, right? Just a whole new Scorpio. And people are like, oh my God, how did that happen, right? Okay. What do we have at the foundation for Scorpio, please? Ace of Pentacles. That came out in reverse. I really feel like this is going to be um, this person, right? This is Ace of Pentacles in reverse is like a this is like a, a greedy kind of energy, right? This is somebody, Scorpio, who, uh, this lover's energy, I, first of all, I feel like is representing that person, okay? I feel like they could be a Gemini. And this person, when they left you, they really put this in your face, too. Like, see how there's, like, naked bodies here and here? I feel like this is what they did. It's like somebody who leaves you for somebody else and then they're they're doing like all these things in public, like uh, outward displays of affection, but they were doing it in public, like on the public stage, on a public platform with this person. And it was so unnecessary they did this. And this, I feel, okay, this is this message here. This is what was really heartbreaking for you to see this because not only did they leave you in such a, um, let's just say a violent manner, uh, it was very, it was just unnecessarily cruel what this person did to you guys, Scorpio. But then they, they did this all over the public stage, right? And it was all for, at the end of the day, it was just all for greed. It was all for money. Ace of Pentacles in reverse underneath this lover's Gemini energy. So it wasn't even real. So it's almost like the energy of somebody who leaves you and then they, and I'm not saying this happened, but it's just the same sort of energy where it would just be heartbreaking to um, witness something like this. It's like they go off and they make a sex tape and release, release a sex tape, right? Something like this. Uh, that sort of energy where it's like, I I can't even believe they would do something like this. I don't even feel like I knew this person. Like, it's this sort of energy. It's so extreme what they've done that it's not even like, um, this is why it's hard for, them to, hard for them to come back to you now, right? And you don't even want this person is what I'm feeling. Like, you're just kind of disgusted with them. Um, you don't even see them the same anymore. It's like, there they are, right? Just peering into your life now, Scorpio. I've seen you've up leveled. You're looking so lovely, Scorpio. How, how about we try and rekindle things? I've been watching you. Right? It's like a real creepy sort of energy too. Like this person's a total creep, male or female. I had a reading like this. Um, was it a Scorpio reading? 
yeah, I feel like this wasn't too long ago. Uh, I did a reading like this, and there was like this creepy energy coming up. Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is just... See, this is that whole... See, Ten of Swords is like this whole... It's a, it's a, well, it's an end. It's an end to something, but it's a violent end. It's like a rock bottom end, which is what I was saying here. This push you into this rock bottom place because not only did you have to deal with the loss of this person, but it was humiliating. Like you were humiliated by this. This person freaking humiliated you, Scorpio. Like this person spit on you. Quite possibly, literally. Seven of Wands, right? So, Scorpio, you need to... This person... If this person does come back through, okay? See, there hasn't been any re reconciliations, I feel, in the Scorpio Collective. It's just been a lot of... Um, a lot of people wanting... To to reconcile, but they don't come back through because what they've done to the Scorpio Collective is so extreme that they don't really know how to get back in. And I don't even feel like, I don't know, man. I don't feel like you guys uh, even want this. It's like you guys have been alone, alone for so long now, and I get you guys are probably lonely and stuff sometimes, but I don't feel like you're, you know what? I don't even feel like you're lonely, to be honest with you. I feel like it would just be nice to be able to spend time with somebody, right? To share moments with somebody. But I don't feel like you're alone. Or I don't feel you're lonely, rather, okay? See, lonely, being alone and lonely are two very different things. Being alone, you can be, you could be happy, you could be just totally cool. But lonely is kind of like, oh, I'm so lonely, right? It's like kind of like there's this self-deprecating energy around that. I don't feel like that's where you guys are at. I feel like you guys are perfectly happy with where you're at. And I feel like you guys really need to continue to protect yourself from this energy. And I quite honestly feel that the Scorpio Collective is going to be coming into this place in the coming weeks after um, a really long time of being alone. Because there's this, I don't know if you guys understand how Chiron works, but Chiron has been retrograde in Aries for a little while now. I think since the middle of the year. And this is when you go inward, Scorpio, to really understand uh, your relationships with other people and behavioral patterns that caused um, you guys to end up in the places you were with these other people, right? So it's like things could happen to you in your childhood that caused these relationships, relationships you were in to be... Uh, they became like projections of things you went through in your childhood, right? And so now we're starting to understand this. Like we're looking back at these relationships going, well, I understand I, I um, attracted that relationship based off of some childhood wounding that I had, right? So it's very important to go inward and heal that so now you can attract something that's higher vibrational to match your higher vibrational healed self. So I actually feel that Really, in the near future, Scorpio is going to be moving into this energy where a lot of us are going to be going back out. Um, I mean, look, I'm just going to say it the way I'm hearing it um, in my in by my spirit guides is a lot of you guys are going to start dating again. OK, I, for one, I'm going to start putting myself out there in the new year. OK, and this is something that I haven't even really um, spoken about or been entertaining at all. But I feel the need to put myself back out there or not the need. I just want to. I feel ready. Like I feel I have done enough work on myself internally now to where I feel confident in the in, in the fact that I could probably attract somebody who's high vibrational and on the same level as me now, right? And so I feel confident in doing that. So I'm going to give it a shot. And I feel that you guys are going to do the same thing. And to really hold back from doing this uh, until you know you're ready is very powerful, Scorpio. And of course, you're going to succeed moving forward. So have confidence, right, in what you can now pull in for yourself. Two of Wands. Okay, so with this Two of Wands energy, so this is all about, well, it's really making this choice, Scorpio. It's kind of like, okay, well, I've done a lot of work on myself. I think that 
I think I could, I think I could pull somebody in pretty awesome, pretty amazing. Somebody who can meet me where I want to be met, right in this high vibrational place. Somebody who's like me, who's like my soulmate. I feel like, ooh, I got a little choked up there, Scorpio. I'm hearing, I'm actually hearing, yes, yes, tell them it's time. Okay, so... You guys have been waiting a long time for this, Scorpio. Holy crap, I'm getting like emotional right now. Oh, God, okay. Okay. Let me just, let me pull it in here. Okay. All right, let's keep going here, okay? King of Wands, wow, okay. <laughs> Scorpio, this is the energy that you guys are stepping into now, or I feel like you guys have already stepped into this. I feel like you guys are just going out in public and people are taking double takes at you guys. People want to talk to you. It's like when you walk into a room, people are noticing you guys, right? Because you guys are in this charming energy. It's a very bold energy, but you guys aren't the people who are like um, outward, outwardly proje projecting your sexuality through things you say. I feel like you guys are very withdrawn and like very humble and you guys just naturally exude this energy, this sexual energy. It's like you guys are attracting all these people, male or female. And even if it's just for conversations or whatever it is, people just look at you guys and are like, wow. That's a really special person. That's a beautiful person, right? This is what I'm getting for you guys. King of Wands. Eloquence, right? It's like an eloquent energy. Like you guys have this royal energy about you guys. And it's after all these crazy hardships. But you guys learned the correct way. You guys transmuted this energy correctly because you guys went through this cycle a ton of times. And then finally you're like, hold on. I'm going to pull back and take a break however long it takes, but I feel this has come to an end now. I actually feel like we're coming out of this now, Scorpio. I was not expecting this in this reading. I actually already did a reading for you guys today, and they wanted me to do another one. Now I know why, okay? Ten of Wands. Okay, so spiritual communication influences religious men, teaches... Sorry, spiritual communication influences religious men, teachers, and men of law. Okay, so this is this letting go of these burdens now, Scorpio. Okay, so Ten of Wands, this to me is sort of giving me uh, like an, a Ten of Wands reverse kind of energy, which is like a, a lightening up energy. Like you can finally sort of, you can finally step back and understand where your boundaries exist, right? So what you will and will not allow uh, other people to lay on you moving forward. It's like you're not going to carry other people's burdens anymore. This is the Scorpio energy in the past. It's like we always carried other people's burdens where they're off running around cheating on us, right? This is just not happening anymore. We're in a different world now. This is a completely different energy, a completely different vibration, and now everything is flipped, okay? So, Scorpio, I feel like you guys are ready. I can't believe I'm saying this either, um, but I feel like you guys are ready. Okay, and this is the... I'm actually feeling this with you guys right now because I'm a Scorpio. I have it in my sun and my rising and a ton of other placements too. Nine of Swords. Okay, so this is a real end to this Nine of Swords energy. So this is like this... Um, well, it's like a... It's, when I get it from this deck, it's kind of like a reversal energy. So Nine of Swords from this deck to me is going to be like this. Uh, it's like a, a recovery energy. Like it's a relief energy. Like it's finally Scorpio's learned all the lessons in love, right? After removing themselves from all matters of loving relationships, they've learned about love. See, you learn about love by not being in love, but by being away from love. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I think we uh I think we got it. I'm not going to say any more, Scorpio. I love you guys. Please comment, 
subscribe if you want a personal reading. All that information will be in the description below. And thank you for your donations. Talk to you soon, Scorpio.